बट ये एकदम से ऐसा शिफ्ट कैसे कि मतलब एकदम या तो रेगुलर पैराशूट रेजिमेंट उस टाइप का कुछ करता आम ही में ही जाता सी डी एस वी डी एस ये एकदम फिर एयरफोर्स कैसे आ गया बीच में एयरफोर्स में जाना दिस इज स्टिल दैप्पीएस्ट का लोअर लेवल आगे से तो जब अंतिम कप पे पैर रख के उस पार निकलेगा ना तो धरती पे तेरे माँ बाप से ज्यादा खुश कोई नहीं होगा तेरे से भी ज्यादा खुश वो होंगे हमारा बेटा ऑफिसर बन गया फाइनली ओके गाइस सो टुडे आई हैव विद मी माय स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम बैच 16 आयुष तिवारी जिसने मेरी बैच 6 सितंबर 2023 को ज्वाइन की थी एंड एग्जैक्टली exactly एक साल बाद 6th 6 सितंबर uh, 2024 में ही गॉट रिकमेंडेड व्हिच वाज एफकेट 1 ऑफ 2024 सो वेलकम आयुष थैंक यू सो मच सर हाउ आर यू फीलिंग आफ्टर गेटिंग रिकमेंडेड सर टॉप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टॉप ऑफ द वर्ल्ड यस Okay, so why don't you introduce yourself to the guests? My uh, star student, एक साल मेहनत करके then you finally got recommended. तो why don't you tell yourself about something about yourself? Like कहाँ के रहने वाले हो आपके माँबाप क्या करते हैं? Just this much. Yeah. yeah. So hi guys, I'm Ayush Tiwari and I hail from Mumbai. I'm 24 years old and I'm working as a senior product manager at one of the fintechs back in Mumbai. and uh, talking about my background so i come from a navy background my dad was ex navy retired in 2005 and this was my 11th attempt uh, for ssb so this was my eighth conference and exactly after an year as i told uh, took me three more attempts actually but yeah things paid off so really thankful to the almighty so to list down kar sakta hai kya ki कौन से कौन से अटेम्प्ट्स थे फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ याद होगा ना तुझे या या एवरीथिंग आई नो फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट से लेके अभी 10th तक 11th में तो तू रेकमेंड हो गया या या तो लेट्स लिस्ट डाउन कि फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड कौन से कौन से अटेम्प्ट्स थे सो माय फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट वाज आफका 2 2021 दैट वाज द वन आई कुड क्लियर उससे पहले मैंने दो अटेम्प्ट्स दिए थे बट आई कुडंट क्लियर द रिटर्न एज़ वेल सो दैट वाज इन देहरादून ओनली एंड दैट वाज ऑन 13 सितंबर 21 Thereafter, I went for IMA entry. That was in Allahabad on 27th March, uh, 2022. Hmm. Thereafter, again, I went to two FSB Mysore for my AFCAT entry. Uh, again on 4th of July. That was my third attempt. And uh, after that, I again went for my Bangalore this thing CDS IMA. Uh, that was my fourth attempt. Again, conference out all the time, every time, continuously. uh thereafter i went for uh, gandhinagar so 1 2 3 now uh again conference out and uh, then i went to jalandhar 31 ssb conference out then i came to uh before this there was a coast guard attempt as well over there i got screened out so i decided that is it i'm not never going to come back but i did did write the examination and unfortunately i couldn't go abhi tha mera attempt um after that i came uh, i went to bhopal uh, just before coming uh, going to bhopal i came here but unfortunately in that attempt i got uh, screened out so that was cds ot entry and thereafter again i went to dehradun for afcat entry uh, that again that was in uh, last year december 4th of december and uh, after that i went for my uh, the cds ot that was last attempt mentally i thought that is it I'm not gonna appear for SSB anymore. Again, I got conference out by really like I feel I was closer every attempt. I feel I was close, and then came this attempt. So yeah, those are things all things. So you, me, ko tenth attempt ke baad ne mila tha. Uh, after eight, that was eight. my eighth attempt. Eighth attempt, ha? Eighth attempt ke baad mila. Yeah. Again, nine, tenth again, you were not recommended. Yeah. Yeah, I I I I remember. बताता रहता था. हाँ. So I was like, नहीं कोई नहीं class में जा फिर से. तो लाइक आई से गाइस दैट की वंस यू कम टू द क्लास एक बारी आपने बाइट ज्वाइन कर लिया तो अंटिल यू गेट रिकमेंडेड यू आर अलाउड टू सेट इन द क्लास एंड कीप क्लियरिंग योर डाउट्स एंड कीप प्रैक्टिसिंग मोर एज एंड व्हेन द टाइम प्रोग्रेसेस दैट जनरली हैपेंस विद ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स एक बार वो आ जाते हैं तो देन दे कैन सो देयर स्टूडेंट्स थ्रू आउट राइट यस ये है तो कैसा था ये एफ कैट अटेम्प्ट यार हाउ वाज इट सो डिफरेंट कि फाइनली तुझे क्लिक हुआ कि अब ये करना है तभी रेकमेंड होगा मतलब ऐसा क्या हुआ था आफ्टर लर्निंग विथ मी क्या क्या चेंजेस आए लेट्स से स्टेज वन से स्टार्ट करते हैं पीपीडीटी से तो ऐसा क्या नया किया जो पिछले दस अटेम्प्ट्स में नहीं कर पाया फिर इलेवेंथ में करके तू रेकमेंड हो गया सर फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई डेड वॉज ट्राइंग टू मेक दैट ट्राइंगुलर थिंग दैट वी टॉक अबाउट इन द क्लास दैट 
uh, mm. that everything should be in st- sync, right? Mm. So the star thing that we talk about, it should be there in your psych, GTO and interview, I feel. Mm. And this attempt, I did not do it deliberately, but it maybe because of the thought process and of the practice that I had put in. And I guess that works for everybody who gets recommended, regardless of attempt, 11, 10, it doesn't matter. When it clicks, it just clicks. Mm. So that is one thing that I did. And uh, starting from stage one, I was fearless. So I guess the, the learning from the entire 16, 15 days off or 20 days off uh, coaching was I knew most of the things because I was a repeater myself so I knew the process but what should be the approach is something that I in fact in those two attempts I was not being fearless that is what I feel that attempt uh, that change in this attempt and that worked for me because since day one I was like uh, I'm just gonna do my part and since this attempt is my last one only so I'm gonna be absolutely fearless and this is what I I, in fact, you remember I did a video call with you after my yeah. entire batch was over. Uh-huh. You told me ki itna mat soch, abhi jo hona hoega, hoega, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I think that took time for me to understand and internalize. And in this attempt, it happened. So I was absolutely fearless. I was really, uh, I was thinking ki kya karna hai, but not whilst I'm in the test. Be- before the test, I was overthinking a lot, but somehow God helped me. I don't know how. But it just helped me while I was in the test. I was absolutely fearless. It be it GTO, psych or interview. So I guess being fearless helped. And accordingly, whatever the instructions were, especially in my GTO, because I especially joined you for GTOs only. Uh, before this, I was uh, dominating in my GTO. So this time, and in fact, in the last two attempts, I know that my GTO at least vouched for me because my con- conferences were going really, really long. And that was very evident in my GTO performance because all the ideas, they were coming to me. But then the way I was putting it up, it was not appropriate in those eight attempts. In these two attempts before these, it improvised. And then this attempt, it obviously paid off. Mm. So I could understand what to do here. It's just that it was a matter of time that psych and interview bhi click. Kar jai. So this is what happened, I think. You said that your papa, uh, he retired from the Navy. Yeah. So what was he in the Navy? He was a chief petty officer uh, in uh, electrical department. Okay. Yeah. So when did he retire in? He retired in December 20, uh, 2005. 2005. So yeah. what do you do dad? So Abhi is working at a JLL, if you know. It's yeah. a property management firm. Yeah. He's working as a property manager back in Mumbai. And your brother is how many? I've got a younger one. Mm-hmm. As, uh, he's working as a AI engineer in Fidelity. He's mm-hmm. a year and a half younger than me. Okay. And uh, your mother is a housewife. Homemaker. Yeah. Okay. So, your uh, father ke saath mein tha na, to, to, like you must have seen Forge na, pehle si, mm-hmm. because you must be born and brought up in all the naval stations and all that. Yeah. Right? So, where did you send, spend maximum time of your life? Uh, at Kolaba Military Station, Navy Nagar. Navy Nagar. So, you have seen Navy very closely, right? Yeah. So, you have seen Navy very closely, right? Yeah. Uh, so in fact, uh, I got an admit for Senic School as well. Mm. Uh, Senic School, Kodai Kanal, if I'm not wrong, mm. because that was back in. Uh, I mean, uh-huh. I cannot recall because uh-huh. I was somebody who hated, uh-huh. to be honest, to be in the forge uh-huh. because uh, I had to clear that exam and I had to take a lot of beating in order to clear it. Uh-huh. So I was ki meko nahi jana idhar pe. And somehow my mother and my other relatives, they somehow convinced my father ki mat bejo bahut chota hai aise karke. Mm. Uh, but then, uh, and India, again, because I was a professional cricketer, so I had no interest in such studies or forge was the last thing on my list, to be honest. But things changed after COVID very, very, uh, like, significantly. And so, a professional cricketer, what was your life in life? So I had represented my state in under 16 and 19 uh, as well as I have, so there is something known as, uh, there are different level in Kendra Vidyalaya, right? So I've represented till regional level. So there is school level and district level and region level. So I've represented till that. And then I had also gone to Sri Lanka 2016. So there is a tournament where all different, not every country participates, but majority of the country they come. And uh, school ke level ke team hai. So I'd gone there. Then again, I was uh, representing my club 
ए डिवीजन सो ए डिवीजन इज समबडी आईपीएल एंड रणजी ट्रॉफी वाले खेलते हैं वो सो आई वर आई वाज टेकिंग अ पार्ट इन दैट अगेन केकेआर के साथ मैं थोड़ा क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड था आई सो दैट वाज गोइंग ऑन बट देन कोविड के अ ईयर वेंट देयर आफ्टर आई डिसाइडेड कि आई नीड टू हैव समथिंग एज अ बैकअप एंड माय डैड वाज कांस्टेंटली बता रहे थे मुझे कि दिस इज ऑलवेज एन ऑप्शन तो ये माँ बाप की मार खाते सैनिक स्कूल में नहीं जाना है तो वहां से लेके ऑल ऑफ अडन हाउ डिड इट चेंज यार तो मतलब वेर डिड यू स्टडी ग्रेजुएशन आई डिड इन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ मुंबई ऑनली गुरु नानक बैचलर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स एंड देन यू स्टडी मास्टर्स ऑल्सो आई डिड नॉट अभी तक तो नहीं सो वो करके एंड देन यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग यू वर्क विद I have been working for the last three years, mm. so I started back in like uh, starting के 2022 से थोड़ा सा पहले. After my first conference out, I was like मुझे थोड़ा backup भी चाहिए अभी कुछ तो करने के लिए. Mm. So I started as a business analyst. Then it was a fintech only. Then again moved to senior business business analyst, and right now I'm working as a product manager. Okay. All of them are in different fintechs. Three of them. Okay. तो ये ऑल ऑफ अ सडन ये हेटरेड लव में कैसे कन्वर्ट हो जाता है ये आप फौज में जाना है सर सो फर्स्ट टाइम व्हेन आई रोड द एग्जामिनेशन आई मिस्ड इट बाय वन मार्क दैट वाज आफकट देन अगेन सीडीएस आई मिस्ड बाय अराउंड टू थ्री मार्क्स सो आई यूज टू थिंक कि आई एम ऑलवेज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट पर्सन टू बी सेलेक्टेड एज अ ऑफिसर बिकॉज ऑल दोज ओ एल क्यूज जो भी लिस्टेड होते हैं आई यूज टू बिकॉज आई वॉज अ स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन सो आई शूड थिंक ऑफ माई सेल्फ केयर आई एम द मोस्ट डिसिप्लिन एंड you know the most uh, intelligent guy who can help uh, who can uh, shape his identity in whichever manner he wants to so i was like ssb to aise ho jayega just written clear karunga and then i'll go in but then uh, when i <laughs> wrote the paper wo clear nahi hua to i mean it mujhe aisa thoda laga ki yaar how can i cannot uh, clear this paper mm. and when when i went for ssb so 5 days ka tha the thing and uh, i went there so mujhe lag raha tha main select hi ho jaunga matlab my performance was going according to me little did i know ki kya uh, cheeze goof up ho rahi hai wahan pe nahi lekin ye cheez abhi bhi clear nahi hui na ki uh, hating to go to sainik school you even thought of writing the exam ye kyu how did this change can you write written exam you were, anyway you were working right yeah yeah, yeah. so, so work happened actually after my first attempt so uh-huh. till then I was not working. फिर ये एग्जाम लिखने का कैसे सोचा कि नहीं चलो फौज में जाते हैं क्योंकि पहले तो बचपन में तो नहीं गए अब जाना है हाँ सो एक्चुअली इट वॉज माई डैड विश की मैं हमेशा मतलब डैड का दो ही चीज था कि या तो क्रिकेटर बन जाओ मतलब इफ यूर डूइंग गुड अदरवाइज नथिंग बेटर दैन बिकमिंग एन officer in the armed forces but cricketer matlab lot of money and fame and lot of things yeah, yeah. why all of a sudden this 180 degree shift cricket se seedhe yahan pe kyu it was gradual sir actually i was when i was playing cricket i was scoring decent runs year after year i was always there in the team but somehow i mean i'm not saying that uh, uh, i was the best one in fact in my mind i was but uh, i did not get the opportunities which i feel i should have and that happened for 2 3 years constantly so then i thought ki what else i can do whatever qualities i have developed i was really a notorious kid back in school so i de- developed discipline i have developed camaraderie because sports teaches you a lot about brotherhood mm. so i feel then armed forces is the best transition and mm. since my father was there so no one better to guide me so i thought ki that's the natural thing and then i started reading about special forces and all of that so that that was the best thing uh, the real reason i would say i always wanted to represent my country at the topmost level so you said special forces right but special forces let's say army mm-hmm. right okay so, but here to you got you got recommended for afcat right to so, abhi weapons branch right weapon systems administration logistics yeah, yeah. तो फिर यार वो वैसे अगर स्पेशल फोर्सेस जाने तो यू हैव ओनली ऑप्शन ऑफ जॉइनिंग गरुड ठीक है बट ये एकदम से ऐसा शिफ्ट कैसे कि मतलब एकदम या तो रेगुलर पैराशूट रेजिमेंट उस टाइप का कुछ करता आर्मी में ही जाता सीडीएस वीडीएस ये एकदम फिर एयरफोर्स कैसे आ गया बीच में एयरफोर्स में जाना सर इन फैक्ट दिस वेरी क्वेश्चन वॉज आज डिन माई इंटरव्यू एज वेल सो आई टोल्ड एम की और इन फैक्ट द आंसर इज स्टिल दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू रिप्रेजेंट माई कंट्री एट द हाइएस्ट लेवल Mm. and i believe the kind of contribution i can give mm. uh through forces mm. is uh, 
unparalleled. So I believe, be it the Army, Navy, or the Air Force, doesn't matter much. Obviously, I did try for my uh, special forces thing that Army se ho jai, but unfortunately, it couldn't. So what's the second best thing I can do? Mm-hmm. So that's how Air Force came in. Okay. So uh, uh, other than cricket, uh, what all games and sports do you play? Uh, football. Mm. And I do a decent bit of running, mm. but not very professionally. Mm. And table tennis and uh, badminton. Okay. And uh, what are your hobbies and interests? Uh, so, so I like to listen a lot of podcasts. That mm. is how this uh, special forces thing came into my mm-hmm. thing. So, are you aware of this podcast? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, in fact, uh, I'll tell you. I was. Uh, you took uh, Kunal Chivinder sir's interview, right? Uh-huh. So back when I went for my SSB, I actually reported for nine, 19th of August, but due to some documentation error, I had to come back. So I went on a run with him. I was watching his podcast and then I connected with him on LinkedIn. Hmm. And then we went for a 12 or 14 kilometer run. Hmm. So yeah, I follow all the things which are there, especially whatever is related to military. And especially in India, there are very few podcasts which are there, which covers it all. This is an exclusive military podcast. Yeah, yeah. 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 Going forward, we're going to have uh, specialists from all arms, branches and services. All three services, basically. All of them will be special forces. Now there's a lot of stuff. Now it was a trailer. The first 8-9 episode is just a trailer. Now the actual picture will start. Definitely. So, and what are your, what are the extracurricular activities that you have been participating since your childhood or something like that you would like to type, talk upon? So, I have always uh, was somebody who was really notorious. I always wanted to go out. So, anything related to sports, I always wanted to be somebody who is a uh, little, uh, you know, thoda sa unique, thoda sa extra, the kind of personality a sports person has, right? Or nowadays... Uh, some somebody like a, a Top Gun Maverick wala banda. <laughs> so you know, thoda sa, uh, thoda sa unique lage. Vesi, jo bhi ho sakti thi. So mostly it's around sports. Uh-huh. I used to run a lot and uh, you know, uh, hobbies per se, because I started my cricket at really young uh, time. So I was 13, I started it professionally. Hmm. So for, straight away from my school, I used to go for my coaching. I used to stay there till 8, 8-ish. And then come back for my tuition and that was my day. And then when I completed my 12th standard, so I did not go to college sir, per se. Like I had my permission that I can represent my college and continue with my cricket. So I used to practice for two clubs. I used to start four in the morning and then weekends I used to come to Pune because there was a friend of mine. We used to practice together. So he had an entire setup because in Mumbai there is some real estate ka issue and all of that. Used to so that was the only thing, and other than that, it was mostly around uh, reading about uh, people like Ronaldo and all of that, Conor McGraw and all of these people. So mostly sto- sports person ke documentaries dekna, books padna, and ye sari cheeze karna is what I enjoyed. Nice. Never had many friends, so wo bhi ek. Okay, what about your girlfriend? <laughs> Not no a- girlfriend in your life. Good, nice. <laughs> Now it's time to go inside. Once you go inside, then you will start the life of P.O.P. After that, life. So, what does your father have to say now that after you've gotten recommended and now the medicals will also be cleared? So, what does your father feel like his dream is finally complete? I guess, sir, he's the happiest person alive right yeah. now. So, this was in fact his goal. This is yeah. still the happiest ka lower level, I would say. So, when you keep your hands on the top of the top, right? तो धरती पे तेरे माँबाप से ज़्यादा खुश कोई नहीं होगा। yes. तेरे से भी ज़्यादा खुश वो होंगे। yes, कि हमारा बेटा ऑफिसर बन गया फाइनली। ओके। वही नाइस यार। टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट आई टेल यू। जब मैंने तेरा मैसेज पढ़ा ना, ये तिवारी रेकमेंड हो गया फाइनली। <laughs> तो सी यू सी लाइक एट एसएसबी विथ आईएस uh, we have all three assessors with us. Like we have an interviewing officer, we have a psychologist, uh, we have other visiting psychologists also, distinguished faculties, and we also have other interviewing officers, not just one. A lot of people, but I am the one. So, um, um, uh, we keep writing about the assessments, right? Because then we subject you to a uh, mock psychology test, you take a mock interview and then uh, GTO assessment to after the class over uh, gets over, 
मैं खुद ही बता देता हूँ कि यार क्या क्या तुम्हारे प्रॉब्लम्स हैं देन यू कैन रिलेटेड विद द फैक्टर्स एंड ऑयल क्यूज एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट तो तेरे रिजल्ट का मुझे यूनिक चीज पता है हमने ये लिखना तब से स्टार्ट किया था लाइक यू नो एक जून जुलाई से वी स्टार्टेड फॉर्मलाइजिंग बिकॉज मैं तो वैसे तीन साल से पढ़ा रहा हूँ मैं फॉर्मल स्ट्रक्चर हमने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को लास्ट ईयर अक्टूबर में ही दिया था एंड वो कॉन्सेप्चुअलाइजेशन हमारा सितंबर से स्टार्ट हो रहा था कि कैसे करना है तो उसके पहले ही मैंने सोच लिया था कि यार इफ दिस इज द थिंग दैट आई टू बिल्ड इन इंडिया देन आई नीड टू हैव प्रॉपर यू नो थिंग्स सब लिखित में क्या क्या किया है कि दिन हिस्ट्री स्पीक्स फॉर इट सेल्फ राइट दिन हिस्टोरियंस विल लुक एट द रिकॉर्ड्स क्या क्या हुआ है तो तो आई विविडली रिमेंबर कि तेरे बारे में ना मैंने रिकमेंडेड लिखा था और जनरली ऐसा हुआ है पिछले तीन साल में कि जिन भी स्टूडेंट्स को मैंने रेकमेंडेड बोला है ऑल हैव गॉटन रेकमेंडेड यार ऐसा एक भी नहीं है कि जिसको नहीं हुआ है एंड आई एम जनरली कट थ्रोट या सी डायरेक्शन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन स्पीड ये सर यू लर्न दिस इन दी एफ ओ सेकेंड तो आई हैव गॉटन सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स जो इधर उधर के पढ़ के कहाँ कहाँ से क्या क्या करके पिछले दो तीन साल में ना पीपल हैव कम एंड सेट इन माई क्लासेस एंड आई टोल्ड दिन की हाँ यार तू रिकमेंड हो रहा है हो रहा है मतलब तू हो रहा है पक्का हो रहा है तो इन योर केस आई एज वेरी सरप्राइज कि एक दो बार ठीक है एक बार हो गया दूसरी बार बट देन नाउ आई रियलाइज जब अब तेरे से बात कर रहा हूँ कि तू बहुत ज्यादा एग्जैजरेशन में अंडर स्ट्रेस होकर के गया था बट देन यू न्यू द प्रोसेस एंड यू न्यू वॉट टू डू एंड वॉट नॉट टू डू सो वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपन इन द कॉन्फ्रेंस सर इन माई कॉन्फ्रेंस एक्चुअली इन माई बैच Every person who was there, who come, they were coming from various academies, IMA, INA. मेरे ग्रुप में ही दो थे जो अंडर ट्रेनिंग थे एक अकेडमी आई एम ए में था एक आई एन ए में था सो दे कॉन्फ्रेंसेस वो गोइंग रियली रियली लॉन्ग सो आई वॉज लिल हेजिडेंट कि इस बार क्या होगा कैसे होगा एवरी टाइम आई एड सीन सो मेनी रिजेक्शंस तो मुझे लग रहा था कि इस बार भी देर इज नो होप ऐसे करके एंड माई कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज रियली शॉर्ट मतलब आई कुडेंट इवन सेट आउट साइड द चेयर विच वॉज केप्ट एंड आई वॉज कॉल्ड इन एंड दे आज दिस क्वेश्चन की वेर डू यू सी योर सेल्फ इन फाइव ईयर्स नॉट इन दी आर्म फोर्सेस सो आई टोल्ड एम दैट आई हैव माई मास्टर्स शेड्यूल्ड फॉर नेक्स्ट ईयर सो आई गो देर कंप्लीट दैट एंड वर्क इन प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड uh the second question instantaneously it came was ki which company do you want to join so i told them ki uh i just took a pause i f- thought that is a trick question so i told them ki i would want to continue in this very organization since i am making a pivotal uh playing a pivotal role over there so they was like that is it and my group members all of them right after the gto day one was done that was on day 4 they telling ki tu pakka hi hoga recommend and that was the case which was happening for the last few attempts and i feel ki mai close tha mujhe lag raha tha har bar but this time i had no expectations and uh, bas jab the result aaya to i was just sitting matlab mera pura batch aage baitha hua tha i was sitting piche and i was thinking ki uh, kya hoga kya hoga tab tak this guy called me was friend of mine in from the bad and uh, in my matlab group mein jinka bhi conference chal raha tha ya jo bhi the wo sare ya to recommended the pehle ya previously academies mein abhi train kar rahe the to previously recommended the so i was just praying ki ho jaye ho jaye but when the result came uh, matlab i me and there was another guy we were not even matlab koi bhi previously recommended bhi nahi tha or not, not even from the academy we were two of us cleared it so we came as a surprise but i was very thankful to god ki ho gaya kaise ho gaya still able not able to digest to be honest but it was a full circle na it was a full circle sir ek saal mere pehle class mein fir ek saal baad recommend ho gaya sir pura and last मतलब एज लिमिट क्रॉस हो जाती yes, तो वहां पे जाके तेरा फुल सर्कल सब लिखा है <laughs> पर सब लिखा है सर फुल सर्कल इन दैट सेंस एज वेल एज माय फर्स्ट एसएसबी वाज आल्सो एट एफएसबी देहरादून इन दैट सेंस आल्सो एंड देन 6 सितंबर वाला डेट कोलेशन एवरीथिंग जस्ट आई मीन मुझे तो ये सब बाद में क्लिक हुआ व्हेन आई वाज जस्ट सर आफ्टर माय रिजल्ट आई क्राइड अ लॉट एंड इन फैक्ट व्हेन वी गेट रेकमेंडेड वी आर टोल्ड टू गो आउट राइट so my friends who did not make through in that attempt they were telling me ki the dso he was telling us ki uh, see that guy he must have worked so hard so you should all also uh, work hard and it's like 
अभी नहीं होगा तो बाद में होगा एंड द गुड पार्ट वॉज की द ऑफिसर वुड साइन माई डॉक्यूमेंट्स आफ्टर रिकमेंडेशन ही वॉज द डी एस ओ वेन आई वेंट देहरादून दी लास्ट टाइम सो ही आज मी की हैव यू एवर बीन टू देहरादून बिफोर सो आई टोल्ड एम येस ही टोल्ड मी की आई रिमेंबर यू वो यू क्राइंग सो इवन इन माई लास्ट अटेम वेन आई डिड नॉट मेक इट आई क्राइड अ लॉट एंड ही वॉज एड्रेसिंग मी नॉट मी पर्टिकुलरली All of us, but he was seeing me because I was crying. ऐसे ज़्यादा कि पता नहीं क्या ही हो गया है. Because this meant so much to me. So uh, he was like, uh, अच्छा है, do well in your academics and all of that. So people do remember. It's just when you work hard in the right direction, things just works. And uh, yeah. चलो, so all the very best. Thank you so much for making time and meeting me here in person. And it was lovely uh, spending some time with you, especially for all my candidates. and mandy ways uh, he is my last year student and ye log hamesha poochte hai to yaar ek last question ka answer de de do you really need a physical gto ground to learn what is sb is and things like that we didn't have a physical gto ground so please tell your opinion um sir i really think that it is all about the logics which are there hmm. especially the like people do take some guidance but even if you are able to visualize and follow the directions which the ground test office ground testing officer tells you in G- group, uh, testing. group testing officer my bad uh, they tell you in the ssb if you are just able to visualize that and apply those concepts it is more than enough you do not need any uh, physical structure because it is all about the logics uh, be it the uh, the the sgt or the pgt or be it the uh, gps it doesn't matter much it's just about how you understand the instructions and then use your brains to uh, you know just just apply it sath reke to ye si yeah <laughs> anyway chal all the very best thank you so much do sir. well and hope to see you soon in uniform yes, uh thank you so much for coming in